Hello everybody, I'm the founder and the CEO of Timop. Uh, briefly, Timop is a mobile technology company designing, designing services and technology for especially for telcos, banks for mobile banking, and M-commerce solutions like for large e-commerce institutes like eBay, Amazon, and so on. So I am here to announce that actually we are uh, in a process to establish our third office in Dubai. First one is in Istanbul, we are a Turkish company. Our second office is in San Francisco and Silicon Valley, Palo Alto. And we are about to establish our third office in Dubai for an operation in GCC area. So today I'm gonna share with you one of the best cases on a project that we done with Vodafone Group on their mobile wallet solutions. But instead of going with the functions and the features and so on, let me briefly tell you how we got started with the group. Um, T-Mob has its own products and its services. So one of our products was the mobile financial services and it was bought by the Vodafone Group. As we are originally from Turkey, uh, we have a decision to start the operation from Vodafone Turkey. And significantly we sophisticated our services, especially for the Turkish people, in terms of services and user experience. So now, on the next slide, I'm going to connect my device and I'm going to show you some showcases what we, ha what we have done in terms of mobile financial services in the wallet. As you know, Turkey uh, is a very well developed country in terms of mobile banking, mobile financial services, so on. We have a population around 78 million people and 14 million people in the country is unbanked. So with Vodafone Turkey, we first aim to reach that 14 million unbanked people who are also a bank, uh, who are also a telco subscriber. So what we have done with this wallet is this wallet is not just only a uh, sending money proposition. It's also an MPOS. So what you do with your wallet is, with Android devices, you also have the NFC solution, but on iOS, when you request the money, let's say you're a taxi driver, and you have the Vodafone wallet app in your phone, and you just want to request 10 Turkish liras, from the, from the guy who took the taxi. So it generates a QR barcode, and you can just enlarge it on the screen. And the, the guy who's gonna pay the bill just scans the QR barcode and the money transfer is done. On the other hand, what we have decided is, uh, digital wallets is not only consisting of uh, payment. It also a lifestyle application, and it should include whatever you have in your physical wallet. So we did a section of my cards. My card, in my card, uh, you can add and remove anything included uh, in your lifetime. So here I have my business card. I can just flip and flop on it. Here's my QR barcode data of my business card. And someone can just scan it from my phone and I can share it. Uh, here's my driving license. It's all in my wallet. Here's my health insurance. You see the user experience, it's so easy. And so on. So uh, what we have done here is also we have a small gamification for the people for saving money in their wallets. So what we have, we have a money box here, a very nice gamification over here. This is for the uh, teenagers who is using the wallet to save money with a small gamification. Here I can play with the money, just drop it here. And here you go, I start to save money in my wallet and I can just share it with anyone who is using the wallet. Also here, here you have extra menus on the down menu. Uh, like you can purchase packages from Vodafone, like SMS packages, data packages, roaming packages, and so on. So this was the phase one of the wallet, but it's a long run between the group and our company. So I'm gonna briefly tell you what we're gonna have next on the upcoming month. So can we just switch for the presentation? So I just presented you the iOS app. 
On the Android app, only the difference is on the Android, we have the NFC payment that you can do the NFC transactions. We work with Visa in this project, Visa Turkey and Visa Europe. So uh, the Visa cards are also enabled in the devices. So uh, these are the other screenshots of. So next big thing that we are planning to have in the wallet is we are trying to have a container wallet, a container app that we call it apps within apps, that m-commerce, loyalty, uh, mobile payments, uh, location-based iBeacons can also be integrated in the container wallet app. So you will have a container wallet, any m-commerce website, let's say eBay Turkey or a anything, can have its own sub-apps in your wallet and when the user do, does the transaction over the container world, it gets airtime from the GSM carrier. The other thing is we are trying to integrate the existing loyalty platform of Vodafone Group into the wallet, but in not that the manner that as a classical loyalty program, we are targeting to have that location and iBeacon technology with the mobile devices, which is a huge in-store experience. As you know, iBeacon is a new technology, maybe you don't know. Uh, it came with iOS 7.0 and Android 4.3. This is the first time the major two operating system, iOS and Android, has a common uh, protocol for proximity issues. Beacon technology is Bluetooth Low Energy, also known as Bluetooth 4.0. And it is the most accurate proximity technology that developed ever with a low energy. So what we're gonna do in the future is we will give you an unbelievable in-store experience as accurate as centimeters indoor. So we will have the proximity marketing in the wallet. We will have the check-in coupons location based. We will have the indoor location because we know how many centimeters of the, I'm sorry. We know how many centimeters that our customer, our wallet user away from the good and we will give the contactless payment without NFC using Bluetooth, which is already built in, in millions of iOS 6.0, iOS 7.0, and Android 4.3 devices. I'm done. So here's my contact details. Thank you very much. <laughs>